Yo, yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Cheeky Creations here, and I'm going to be doing a Q&A with you today. Question goes to Simeon Jackman Smith. I highly recommend you go and check out his channel. The link is in the description below. Alright, my favourite TV show has to be The Big Bang Theory because I just like how they kind of make every character different in their own ways. It shows really good messages and it, the chemistry between the characters is amazing. It's a very good show and I've enjoyed all the seasons. Alright, the second question from my mate Darren. His question is... Okay, my favourite DC character has to be the Joker from Batman. It's just he's an absolute nutcase. Trust me, I love Heath Ledger as the Joker. He did a very good job. and I'm so excited to see him, Jared Leto take on the role. I'm telling you, this Joker makes me want to crap my pants because he's so scary. Now, my favourite Marvel character. Well, that's a hard one because there's a load of good Marvel characters. But if I have to be honest with you, it has to be Wolverine because you can really relate to him because he doesn't really like being a mutant but at the same time he does still show class and innocence to people and is helpful. Alright, my next question is from my mate Jay. He is also starting quite a few Cheeky Curations videos so they're in the link below. Feel free to check them out. And his question is... Okay, my top 5 favourite superheroes have to be Batman, obviously because I just love the universe he's been put in, the Arkham trilogy and the Dark Knight trilogy are some of my favourite trilogies ever, I really like how much death Batman's been put into. Second one is the X-Men, because the truth is there's a load of good X-Men out there, they're all good in their own way, so I find it very hard to pick, so I've picked all of them. And also I do like the whole premise of X-Men because they're not really superheroes, they're mutants born with natural conditions that make us look different to everyone, but some mutants try to prove that they're not a threat, others don't. My third is Superman. I do like Superman. I like his TV shows a lot, like Smallville, The Avengers of Lois Lane and Clark Kent. But the Superman movies, I've liked the first two Christopher Reeve films, but the others I've not really been a fan of. Yeah, I liked Man of Steel, but the thing with Man of Steel is it kind of made him very two-dimensional. You don't really have that kind of nice guy aspect. The fourth superhero has to be Spider-Man. I like how he's very funny, he's easy to relate to because he's a teenager, and he's, all his villains are very good. And my fifth favourite superhero is The Flash. He goes very fast, he makes Usain Bolt look slow, and I've been really enjoying the Flash TV series at the moment. I recommend you give that a watch. Alright, the next question is from my mate Omar Augustine. He's also starred in only one Cheeky Creations video, you know, my Lego Star Wars video, so links below, feel free to check it out. And his question is... Well, the truth is, I would like to do loads more videos with action figures like the Alien franchise, the Predator franchise. They are good films. Predator, they've all made very good films. They are quite underrated, and I'm looking forward to the next movie coming out. Alien, yeah, they they are very good movies, very phenomenal. I like how they've been done. Yes, the Alien Three did slack a bit because kind of was like a step back from Aliens, but maybe you may see a future video of those two having a fight with each other. All right, the next question is from Kai. Kai's question is, when will you get GTA Online? Alright, well, that's GTA Online. Honestly, I'm not a fan of it. I find it a bit boring and tedious sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I do really like open world games, but the truth is, once you've completed them, you've, they lose the value. They get boring at the end. That's why I always think first-person shooters and platformers will be the kin of video games. Alright, next question is from Alex. He asks... Well, I, took, I will let you on a little secret. I wasn't really a Lego fan when I was a young boy. To be honest, I was more action figures. I collected Lego. No, 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 silly me. 
I collected Star Wars action figures back in those days. And then I watched Kishinade and Forest Fires, Lego movies, and I got really inspired. So then after that, I kind of took off with Lego and started making more movies based on Lego. And I really enjoy it because it's a fun source to make and you can really piece back all the characters together. And I just enjoy so much in the whole building the characters and sets. It is a load of fun. All right, the next question is from a friend of mine, Chester. Well, if I had to pick one superpower, it has to be to teleport to places because the truth is, I hate being late to places. Trust me, it's a very big annoyance for me. And if you teleported, you can go anywhere. I could like go to the Bahamas for a free holiday. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, teleporting would be my power. Alright, the next question is from my friend Matthew. If I was y'all, check out his YouTube channel, Captain Movie Guy. He makes his reviews, and he's a big superhero fan, trust me. He's worth watching. Well, there's a load of good parts about making a Lego film. It is so enjoyable, from writing the scripts and making up all the lines to taking the pictures, reacting all of it, and then editing all. It's hard to pick because all these three stages are very key and very important in order to make an expert Lego video. Alright, next question is from my mate Mercer from college. He asks... Well, I've been on YouTube for five years. I've been working, making videos. Like my first original channel, I used to go to the Ghost 8464. I didn't really do anything very serious. I kind of did like top 10 lists, small like action figures played, and very like action figures, like animations in a way. But in 2012, when I made my first professional stop motion film, and then I kind of continued from there, and now Cheeky Creations has been formed. Next question is for my top G Rafe. He Well, what do you put in the toaster, huh? The truth is, you put bread, and then that becomes toast. You put bread in the toaster. Thank you for watching this video. Please may you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and also share with your friends.